Hi, this is Lavina uh, from So Natural talking about um, healthy living and my thyroid journey, my experience post-op. Uh, today is my third day post-op because I had my surgery on Thursday. And I just wanted to give you all an update to let you know um, how my voice sounds, um, first of all which um, to me is huskier than what it normally is and also um, how the post-op has been for me as far as recovery. So the thing that I mentioned in my second video is that my hand was numb from, I guess, the um, not the anesthesia itself, but when they tucked my arms under, they tucked them under too tight and they were swollen and they were numb, but they're feeling better. They're almost um, back to where they normally are. I can still feel like a little um, numbness in it, but it's like real minimal that I am feeling. And then also I took my dressing off yesterday and I am going to show you that. Well, you can really see it, but um, here is my incision. And um, there are steri strips on top of it, and you don't supposed to remove the steri strips. They normally fall off in five uh, to seven days um, on their own. And then I also have the drain, which is the most uncomfortable experience that I'm having right now. I am not having any pain, uh, just soreness. It hurts when I cough. And um, I am coughing up a lot of mucus. But the pain that I'm feeling is where this drainage is. Um, this drain is on my bone. And it's so uncomfortable. It makes it uncomfortable for me to sit in certain positions. And it also makes it uncomfortable for me to sleep. So uh, the first night I slept on and off a little bit. Um, but last night, I barely got any sleep at all. I think I slept maybe about two hours. And um, I was sleeping. My husband, he has a massage chair that I bought him for his birthday a couple of years ago. And that's what I was sleeping in. But I still couldn't get comfortable. So um, this morning, I propped up a whole lot of pillows. And I was finally able to sleep for a couple of hours. So I was happy about that. Um, as far as eating, I am eating uh, regular uh, foods and I'm tolerating them pretty well and uh, drinking lots and lots of fluids, um, making sure that I eat a lot of vegetables. Uh, the other thing, so I, I'm not doing a lot. I'm walking around around the house a lot, but I'm not lifting anything heavy or I'm not trying to do anything strenuous um, with my body or anything like that. The only thing that I'm doing is relaxing and um, taking it easy. Yesterday, I had a couple of visitors um, to come over to visit with me, so that was special. I've been getting a lot of phone calls. I'm trying not to talk as much. I'd rather do um, texting right now um, to rest my voice um, other than a lot of talking. And um, pretty much um, that's it that's going on with me, with my recovery. I think that my incision looks good. It's, it's healing well. And um, I'm not having any problems. On my next video, um, because I am late with my thyroid journey, I should have started before I even had the surgery. Um, but I didn't, but on my next thyroid, um, thyroid video, well, I'm sorry, video about my thyroid journey, I am going to talk about the supplements that I took. So just in case you are hyper um, thyroid, uh, you'll know some of the things that I did and maybe you still will have time to heal your body without having the surgery because there are uh, many people who have hyperthyroidisms, 
uh, thyroidism slash grave disease and they no longer have to take the medications. But there are several steps that you'll have to take. I think for me that maybe I started doing those things a little bit too late to where my thyroid was already enlarged and um, I had to result to the surgery. I'm not, um, at first I was very sad that I was going to have to do this, but I, I have to do what's best um, for my body. And um, if you all want to see the thyroid, I have a picture of it. It was 12 centimeters. I can put it in the comments if you like, but it, it was huge. And um, I'm glad that I took it out and instead of it being an emergency situation where they had to rush in and take it out because maybe I wasn't breathing um, or something. But I just want to share as much information with you all um, that I can about my journey. If you have any questions, um, please feel free um, to ask and, and I will answer them. And um, also, please like, um, subscribe, and share. And um, I'll let you know in a couple of days how I'm doing. Again, this is Lavina from So Natural, speaking on healthy living and my thyroid journey. Bye-bye.